Destiny 2's upcoming Curse of Osiris campaign is going to reintroduce you to returning characters like Ikora Ray and Brother Vance, alongside some new faces such as Osiris and Sagira, his ghost. On this journey, you'll head to Mercury to fight against the same Cabal from the campaign, as well as Vex, some of which have a slightly different look, but the same combat mechanics you've come to expect. After playing the first mission, which took us to the new destination, I had the opportunity to rush through the 2-3 hour campaign where core components like shooting and leveling felt as good as they always do. Once I completed it, however, I was left thinking simply, that's it? If you were looking for Curse of Osiris to rectify all of your Destiny 2 concerns, it sounds like we'll just have to wait to see which feedback the live team decides to address by launch or in a future livestream. Bungie gives us enough motivation to face off against these new foes while still challenging you with some enjoyable new settings. However, my time with Curse of Osiris exposed the long-running problem with all of Destiny's expansions. They all happen in a bubble and rarely, with the exception of Taken King, do you see the effects of these stories impact the rest of the world you're in. While I admit I wasn't able to play past the campaign, it does seem like the Osiris expansion is falling into that same trap of segregating itself from the core story. It feels like it's a self-contained experience that, at best, will be mentioned offhandedly by your ghost in the next add-on. What it does get right are the encounters. You'll meet new versions of the Vex that will challenge you in a few interesting ways. It's unfortunate that I can't talk about how specifically due to embargoes and possible spoilers, but I will say that there are a few payoffs that fans of lore will love experiencing. In addition, the team who built the levels have yet again done a fantastic job building gorgeous worlds that were a pleasure to see for the first time in a Destiny game. Overall, Osiris left me feeling like the campaign was hollow. According to Bungie, the expansion began full force development as Destiny 2's launch window and it shows. I'd completed the self-contained story and now I was left with the level grind, which is usually where the really cool moments happen, but I was unable to proceed. The DLC left me worried that Destiny 2 is going to continue to struggle as I watch my friends, favorite streamers, and coworkers play less and less as the sandbox is left desperately needing adjustments. Hopefully Bungie addresses this ASAP. For more on Destiny 2, keep it right here on IGN.